What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. What we have here in front of us is the HP 440 G5 and what we'll do today is open it up and I'll show you guys how to replace a few things such as the memory, the hard drive, the keyboard. So the first thing you wanted to start with is open up or loosen up this screw here which will remove this cover. And this screw does not come out so you just want to keep turning it until you start hearing clicks that means it's out of its thread. It should pop up a little bit like this where you can put you use your nail and then your finger to pry it out. If it doesn't, then try to use something to pry it out, such something plastic or, or something very slim like this. And then that will come out just like so. And then the next thing we want to do is, and it looks like in my case here, there isn't a screw. There should be another screw here. I think it's there, but it looked like it was stripped. So try, if there's a screw there for you, remove that screw. And then we'll also do the same thing for this area here. I can't get my nail underneath, so you try to do that. And then this cover will also come out. So before we start here, um, since we actually don't have access to the battery, we need to do much more to replace the, to actually get the case out to remove the battery. And that's, uh, I won't cover in this video, but you'd basically have to remove these one, four screws here. And then there's three screws at the top. And then there's a screw here for the keyboard, one. And another one right here, you'll see a keyboard icon. So you want to remove those two, flip it, remove the keyboard, which I'll show you guys how to do. And then there's another way, or basically where the case has to be removed from this end, once you remove the keyboard. And then you'll expose the battery, the internal battery. Um, make sure if you're not doing that, all of that, you just want to replace something here, at least make sure the laptop is off if, um, or you could have the laptop on until the battery drains and then go ahead and start working on replacing your modules. So to replace the memory here or remove the memory, there's these slots here. We pretty much just pull them away from each other and then the memory module will pop out and we can just slide it out. And then we can do the same thing on this side as well. And then it just slides out. This laptop takes a PC4, 8 gigabyte, and another 8 gigabyte. Uh, so that's a total of 16. Um, you may be able to put more than 16. Um, I'm not sure, but I, I, I will most likely probably go ahead and include that in the description. To put this back, if you try to put it back the wrong way, you'll notice that it doesn't go in because of the notch, where the notch is located. So normally where the information of the memory module is, you want to keep that facing down. And then just slide your memory module in in a certain degree, like so. And then you push it down, and then it clicks in place. And then we'll do the same thing here for this one. Push it down, clicks in place. The next thing I want to cover is, you'll notice that there's an M.2 in this laptop, but it also um, takes a 2-inch, 2.5-inch uh, hard drive or an SSD, so you could add additional storage to this laptop. Um, in this case, this one, of course, doesn't have it, as you can see, but there's a connection here, so you can do that. and then. Uh, you'll probably have to uh, screw it down. I'm not sure if you'll need some type of bracket for it. That I'm not sure of. Um, but you could um, perhaps, possibly, find a bracket for it online. But for the M.2 at least, there's one screw that holds it down. So we'll remove that screw. And then you can see our M.2 here just popped up like this. So all we have to do is just wiggle it left and right and it slides out. This laptop um, had a, let me see, 256 gigabyte M.2. And it does have two notches. Okay. You could put one with one notch. Um, if we look here, basically there is, uh, so if, if you, if you do buy a replacement and it only has one notch, you could use that as well. Now to put, if you replace it to put, or if you just wanted to remove it and put it back, um, again, the same thing here, you, it doesn't go in, it only goes in one way. So if you try to slide it in the wrong way, it won't work. So we'll go ahead and push it in. And then we do have to push it down because, and hold it. So let's get our screw here ready. And then we'll hold it down and screw it back on. And before we get to where, how to replace the keyboard, um, the last thing here that is visible to us is the Wi-Fi card. So if you wanted to replace the Wi-Fi card, um, there's two antenna cables here. So make sure you at least mark maybe 
with like a Sharpie here and then somewhere on this plastic cover um, or piece here so that you know that this one goes here and then the other one you don't have to mark it and know that it goes on the bottom and then there's one screw that holds it down I'm not going to remove this so but there's one screw that holds it down and then it comes out similar to how the M.2 comes out or the memory memory module comes out um, the next thing here we want to cover is replacing or removing the keyboard so there is and I'll get this a little bit closer if you see that icon there that's the keyboard icon so it has an arrow as well so that's one screw that we want to remove and then if we look around there is another one right here that's pointing at that screw so it's not your um, Phillips screw so you do need a precision um, tool set but the screw that we want to use is this one right here okay and then basically to remove this keyboard you need to get these screws out and they come out fully and you don't have to worry about mixing them they're the same size so that's oh, that's two right and then what we want to do now is go ahead and flip and open open our cover you most likely won't be able to do this with just your hands so you do need something that's slim plastic or metal like this and then once you kind of get your keyboard popped out a little bit you can just use your hand from here now be careful when you remove this if you are uh, putting the same keyboard back on because there's ribbon cables behind it so you don't want to pull this out and just you know um, by force and I'll show you guys what I mean here so if I if I uh, let me see if I can do this while you guys are able to see it so so as you guys can see there uh, hopefully yep there's two two ribbon cables so you can pull the keyboard out like so and then to remove these ribbon cables I'll go ahead and use a plastic prying tool all you want to do is these black tabs here I'm gonna pull it up and then this one will come out and then for this one there is a white one so this one had a black one on the right hand side right that we pried up and out towards the left the white one will pry up and towards the right right and then that will come out and there's our keyboard right that we can replace um there is a part number here uh 2b bb 001q100 so if you wanted a replacement or you can simply just look up uh, probook 440 g5 keyboard replacement and you'll get some results there um we do have access to different ribbon cables here of course you know that's if we were going into depth of removing um <clears throat> different components and whatnot uh, of course, if you wanted to get to the battery, you do need to get this keyboard out and you want to try to remove some of these ribbon cables, especially the ones that are overlapping this cover here, because you do have to remove this cover to access the battery. So this one, if you don't remove it, it will most likely get ripped. And I think that looks like that's pretty much all you need to remove. I could be wrong, but if uh, there is a lot of videos on YouTube that cover actually battery replacement, or um, if requested, I could do one as well. To put this back, we'll go ahead and actually work on putting, let me see if I can get you guys in a position where you can see. So we have to put these cables back on. So be very gentle with these, these ribbon cables. Uh, probably, probably you guys can't see this, but you just push it in, right? And while you hold it, just tight put that bracket back down to lock it in place and then we'll do the same thing here for this one so they give you a little bit of room or you know like um so we'll do the same thing here we'll push that in and then put the tab down to lock it in place and to put the keyboard back in um there's a lot of clicks that happen <laughs> so uh, once you slide, let me start from the beginning. You want to slide this end f in first, and then you're going to keep pushing it down from different areas.
All right, and everything seems like it's um, in position now. Go ahead and close this, flip it, and then we'll take our two screws and put them in position. All right, so that's one and then two. And that pretty much covers it. So um, again, in my case, there was no screw here. I'm sure yours would have a screw, so just make sure that you uh, use the right bits when you're working with these screws so you don't strip them. But all these cases, this one uh, will go in just like so. And then click it, make a click in different areas. And so it looks as flush as possible. And then for this one, so you want to start with the back. And there is one, two, three, four tabs here. And the tabs all go basically in this area. So there's one, two, uh, three, four, and five. These are hard to really know that it's for them. But align those in a certain way, like so. Make sure you got all of them in there. Okay. And then all you need to do again here is push it down, make a click. And we can even take our screw here and tighten it down first if we need to. And then go back and just push every area down until it's flush once again. And that is pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope that this video was helpful. Um, this laptop actually hasn't been turned on in a very long time, so it's dead. But of course, make sure that you turn on your laptop, make sure everything is working. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one.